everyone. An object moves on a horizontal coordinate line. Its directed distance s from the origin at the end of t seconds is s uh, given here. I'm not going to repeat this. Uh, b when t equals 1 and s is negative 3. And we are determining when is the object moving to the left. All right, so let's look at this. Let's let, um, we're going to have to solve for a and b first. Let's first find our derivative. So if we let f of t equals s, then that means when you differentiate this, we're going to get the velocity is the derivative of s with respect to t. Or we could say f prime of t. And that equals negative 3t squared plus 2at plus b. All right, now we're going to have to set up a system of equations, and we can do that by first looking at our s. We know s is negative 3, so negative 3 equals when t is 1. It's kind of small there. So I'll write it, s is negative 3 when t equals 1. So substituting in 1, we're going to get negative 1 uh, plus a plus b plus 1. Now this is going to give you a plus b equals negative 3 because the ones will cancel. I'll call this equation 1. And then we also, since we have our derivative here, can uh, look at f prime of 1 uh, because t is 1. That's what we're looking for. And we want that to be 0 because we're trying to find when it changes directions. So setting that up, we'd have um, negative 3 plus 2a plus b equals 0. Or we can write this as 2a plus b equals uh, negative 3. All right, from there, and I just use this equation here. Uh, solving for this, let's just subtract everything. You're going to get um, a minus 2a is negative a, b minus b is 0, negative 3 minus a negative 3 is going to be um, uh, negative 6. So we're going to get, um, oh, this should have been a plus. So anyway, this should be uh, negative 6. So a is 6. And when a is 6, I'll have a plus 6 equals negative 3. Substituting it back into this equation, that means b is going to be equal to negative 9. All right, since we have that, we can substitute everything in. And I'm going to look back at this equation here, the, namely this one. So we get this is going to equal f prime of t equals negative 3t squared plus 12t minus 9. And then factoring this, let's factor out a negative 3. That's going to give you t squared minus 4t plus 3. And factoring further, you get negative 3 times uh, t minus 3 times t minus 1. All right, we set this to 0 again like we did uh, here. And uh, we're going to get t equals 3 or t equals 1. So let's look at, see what we get for that. If we have um, our f prime of t was uh, negative 3 times t minus 3 times t minus 1. So basically I'm going to set up a little sign diagram and see what we get. If I substitute in 0, I'll get negative, negative, and negative. So that means this part here is going to be negative. In this uh, interval here, let's substitute in 2. <coughs> this will be negative, this will be negative, but this will be positive. So we have positive here, and if I say substitute in 4, I get negative, positive, positive, which means negative. So drawing the curve, uh, we're going from 
uh, 1 to 3, but on the this side uh, we're going down because it's negative slope and then up to 3 we're going up I'm just sketching it here and then with this negative we're going down so basically this is uh, left right left but what they want to know is when is it uh, moving to the left so we're starting at t equals uh, 1 so it's moving right then it's going to move left so you would say it changes directions or moves left at t equals 3 and that's it thank you have a nice day bye bye